statue of the man who fought to keep schools segregated in Virginia is gone from Richmond's Capitol Square. Today, crews removed the bronze figure of Harry Burt. Richmond reporter Henry Graff was there, and he's here to tell us about a new monument set to go up later this year. Henry. Harry F. Byrd may have defined Virginia politics for decades, but no more, says one state delegate. Today's removal is personal for Jay Jones. Another statue is off its base and on the ground. Harry F. Byrd's removal from Capitol Square in Richmond is a welcome sight for Jay Jones. Well, my father was denied entry to his local neighborhood school because of the color of his skin. Massive resistance in uh, its peak. State Delegate Jones, who led this removal effort, says Byrd was a historic figure, but for all the wrong reasons. The former Virginia governor and U.S. Senator spearheaded efforts to keep schools segregated following the Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court court decision in 1954, even shutting down entire school systems to prevent black students from attending. The architect of massive resistance, someone who was an arch segregationist, someone who wouldn't uh, like the fact that I get to serve in the House of Delegates, that so many members who look like me have the power and the clout that we do to reverse the things that he was trying to do. Crews with the Department of General Services removed the statue, its pedestal, and other remnants Wednesday morning. It took a few hours to take down what went up in 1976. We talk about being inclusive and we talk about embracing diversity, and, and we really have to put our kind of our money where our mouths are uh, and, and do the right thing. As Bird comes down, plans are coming together for another monument in Richmond. Excavation work is underway for the Emancipation Proclamation and Freedom Monument on Browns Island, dedicated to the emancipation of enslaved Africans. It could be completed by September. The statue, along with its granite base and other items collected here today, are being sent to storage. It's up to the General Assembly here at the State Capitol to decide what happens with all those items in the end. On your side in Richmond, Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. Henry, thank you. Now, 